Hello guys, welcome to another practical application example in Angular. There might be many websites where you can see there is a lot of content or any code and there will be another option as well like uh, when you click on that one, the text or code, whatever it is that will get copied to clipboard. You can copy that one to notepad or any word document or anything. In this application, we are going to see how we can achieve this one. As you can see in this example, I have this content and I have a button as well where you can see copy to clipboard. When I click on that one, the content whichever it is uh, being shown here that gets copied and if you open any document and you can use the paste option there and when you click on paste you can see the content whichever it is being displayed in this website that is being copied here. So let's see how we can achieve this one in our Angular application by using simple code snippet and some of these steps. Open any of your favorite code editor where you can start building the application. In this example, as you can see here, I have created one component for this example, copy text clipboard. Here you can observe I have content in HTML template. That's the only one thing which I have. I have added only one title with copy text to clipboard and if you go to typescript file here you can see there is no logic added here if you see this file in browser you can see only that title is being appeared here so let's go back to our editor first step what we need to do is we need to add content to our web page for that one I will use one div as we want to apply some logic in our application I will use HTML's property binding inner html and i will get one variable from typescript file that will be html to add so let's create that variable in our typescript file how to add this will hold the content whatever we want to display in this division i will place some of the dummy text for this example in real time applications you might have different content or code anything which will be under this division. The main thing which we need to have is this variable and the content here. So let's save these files and if you observe that one in browser you can see content is being displayed here. So we are good with step one. The next step which we need to do is we need to build the logic. I have a code snippet here I will copy that one then I will explain how it works. I have a function here in which I am creating one intermediate HTML element where we are going to pass the content which we are already displaying into our web page that is HTML to add this is the content which I am passing this one to our content one text area and finally I am removing that one the main code which you need to observe here is we have a method execute command copy we are making use of this copy execute command which will help us to copy the content whatever is defined in this content one. The final step is we need to call this function on click of a button. For that one let me add one button here and I will name this button as copy to clipboard. To call that function I will use click event binding and within this one I will call that function that is copy content. So that's it what you need to do. Now save this one and go back to browser. Here you can see we have a content and a button. When I click on this copy to clipboard, the logic which we have written that will copy this content now. Now open any document and now you can use this option paste. When you click on that paste, you can observe whatever the content is being displayed on web page that is being copied. This is one of the real time application which will be used in many times. So that's it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it to others and subscribe to my channel.